So, Mayor Barrett. Well, nowadays, a lot of us have a, a, a big screen TV, for example. Maybe you're sitting on a big old couch right now in your living room. You've got a big picture or painting on the wall. But I'll tell you something. You have nothing as gigantic as what the man you're about to see put in his house. Our Henry also shows you perhaps the fishiest living room in the world. And it's right here in Bristol, Wisconsin. basically simulates uh, the prebiotic amino acid synthesis. We could spend a few minutes. The machine here is what they call an Agilent 5973 GC. Telling you about the machines. Coupled to a mass spectrometer. In Bill Wan's yeah, basement. Uh, the basic simple version is a glorified toaster oven. A costly and complicated toaster oven. Which has cost you about $5,000. I think that's just crazy. Used so by sophisticated pharmaceutical and crime labs. An 1100 HPLC system. Juan, who's a high school dropout, by the way, and proud of it. Okay, an HPLC is a high pressure liquid chromatograph. Repairs and refurbishes machines like these for a living. You have to go to school for quite a long time to learn them. But there's something a bit fishier in this home. And we're guessing you'd prefer us to dive right in and tell you about the giant fish tank in Juan's living room. The tank is uh, 24 feet long, 10 feet high, 10 feet from front to back. The viewing windows are two and a half inch thick. At more than 20,000 gallons, it's the largest privately owned reef tank in North America. I'm just used to it. You know, it doesn't even seem that big to me anymore, to be honest, not to, to sound pompous or anything. And I see it as a maintenance nightmare. And then I look at all the things that are wrong. In fact, Juan, or sometimes his friend Aaron Fortuna, have to scuba dive in order to help maintain the tank. From a standpoint of being on the other side of the glass looking in, you don't realize on how deep it really is until you're actually inside the tank. Yeah, he's became very popular real quick. To support the 100 to 150 fish, some valued at $500 to $1,000 each. They become like your children because uh, they know who you are. Takes a space several times bigger than the behemoth fishbowl itself. Okay. This is uh, underneath the, the main tank. This is the bottom of the tank right here. From two sump pools. That's all the water coming down from the tank. To seemingly miles of massive pipe. We have two motorized valves, one on either side. To a custom filtration system he now sells. And, uh, we build various different sizes of these. Juan whipped it all up himself. Yeah, this is all mine. It keeps the water crystal clear. We had a little smidgen of ozone. Did we ozone mention he dropped out of high basically school? Basically, three atoms of oxygen all stuck together. If he's not sleeping, he's working. If he could find a way to work in his sleep, he would. Everything I have, I can figure out very quickly, and then I get bored. So I move on to the next one. This, I've never been able to master. I'm learning something new every day. I get to do something new every day. So that's why I'm interested in it. I stare at the fish tank. And as much as his live in girlfriend, Trisha Clausen, appreciates the wall sized tank. Stop naming them because when I name them, they die. So I don't name them anymore. She's a little apprehensive about the next one. Somewhere between 60,000 and 80,000 gallons. A little bit crazy, I think, would be underestimating. Yeah, the craziness of it. <laughs> Pretty much, I would tear it all out. Just make the living room bigger. Juan has actually started a new company to sell some of the large fish tank technology he's developed in building his own personal giant fish tank. In the newsroom, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. That is a talker. You that were right. That is astounding. And you know his That's friend's fabulous. name? Did you catch that? No. Fortuna. That's funny. That but is I'm funny. Fine. That's yeah. a great story. That is wild, though. That thing is just massive. You know, and I think that, that he will find some wealthy clients that will be more than happy oh, to have him set that up. I'm now sure that they some know people about in it. mega mansions would see that and go, mm -hmm. that, I mean, that is very cool. Well, mom and a daughter are battling a dreaded disease, and they're doing it in an amazing way. They're actually part of a race across the United States. Now